Today we're talking about pancake prime lenses for micro four thirds, specifically one from Olympus and one from Panasonic that are super compact and great for travel or everyday carry. Plus, be sure and watch to the end, I'm gonna throw in a third pancake lens that is super sharp and you can buy it for less than $100. Now the history of pancake lenses goes all the way back to some of the early Leica rangefinder cameras that had collapsible lenses, where you could collapse the lens, the camera was really flat, you could put it in a pocket, then when you pulled it out you could extend the lens and you know take your pictures. And so the idea of a very compact lens is something that goes pretty much back to the birth of, of 35 millimeter cameras. And the idea is that you know that you can put a lens like this on a camera and carry it around every day or put it in a coat pocket or whatever and it's it's just with you all the time and you know a camera that's with you is one that gets used if you know if you leave the camera at home or in a camera bag it's not going to get used much so photographers that like to carry cameras around with them all the time to take pictures pancake lenses are, are really handy the first lens I'd like to talk about is the 17 millimeter f2.8 pancake lens from Olympus this lens is beautifully made got a metal mount and while the body is plastic it's got a very solid feel the focus ring is just butter smooth it's really nice if, if you like to manual focus your lenses it's very compact that's reasonably fast at f2.8 and if you read some rev reviews on this lens you might hear that this lens is not that sharp but here's the truth of that the central area of the image on this lens is very sharp it's got excellent sharpness but it does suffer some at the edges now it's not blurry or anything at the edges, but it is is reasonably sharp, but it does suffer from some loss of sharpness at the edges. But but here's the thing about that: all lenses, including this one, are designed for a purpose and to a market, right? So this is not your professional photographer's architecture lens, and it's not your professional photographer's landscape lens. This lens was designed to put on a compact camera body like the EP1 it was originally introduced with, to have a compact, fit in your coat pocket, carry around, take anywhere camera for shooting pictures of your family and friends and the children and the dog and your vacation, and to have great pictures doing that. Now, it does that job just beautifully. It, it does a, a great job of it. The lens, like I said, the sharpness in the center is excellent. It does a great job. It is not as sharp at the very edges, but it really doesn't need to be when you're, you know, when you're taking pictures of things like people and, and family and friends and whatever, it's the central area of the image that needs to really be sharp. And this lens does that. And you won't find the edges to be like, like I said, they're not blurry. They're not out of focus or anything. They're reasonably sharp. They're just not as critically sharp as the center. So, I mean, you can read all the reviews you want about, you know, sharpness and and see all the technical stuff if you want to to try to get that kind of detail but the fact of the matter is this lens takes great pictures lens I'd like to talk about is the Lumix 20 millimeter f1.7 pancake lens from Panasonic. Now this is again a very beautifully made lens. It's got a metal lens mount, plastic body but it's really solidly made. The focus is not quite as smooth as the Olympus but still very nice if you like to manual focus your lenses. It This lens is a 20 millimeter focal length so it's a little less wide than the 17 millimeter Olympus. 
kind of in between a normal and a you know wide angle lens but it's a, just a fantastic focal length once you get used to using it, it it's just a great for everyday carry this is a again very compact lens and this lens is noted for having really superior image quality center edges pretty much everywhere this lens is, is extremely sharp now it it makes a great companion to this EP5 Olympus um, still compact enough to carry around it's it's a little bit bigger in diameter than the Olympus but still you know quite compact so it's really enjoyable to use and it has a 46 millimeter filter thread I um, have a similar hood for this one that like I have for the Olympus lens and um, that helps protect it so great compact very you know usable everyday carry kind of lens from Panasonic The last lens I'd like to talk about is this lens from, I think it's pronounced Meike, M-E-I-K-E. -E. But it is a 28 millimeter f2.8 lens for micro four thirds. Now this lens is very affordable. I think I paid like $59 for this. You know, it's all metal construction. There's no plastic, you know, body on it. It's, it's all metal. That is manual focus. So you have to manually focus it Got a focus ring and you have to manually set your aperture. Now this does not have any click stops on the aperture, uh, so you have to, you know, it won't click into place. You kind of have to make sure you're, you're on aperture. The focus is very nice, and it does have a depth of field scale, so you can determine what your depth of field is going to be. But the focal length is 28 millimeter, which in micro four thirds, that's going to be equivalent to a 56 millimeter uh, lens on a full frame or a 35 millimeter film camera. So, a tiny bit long, but kind of in the range that normal lenses have been considered, you know, what's normal for a uh, full-frame camera. And very compact. And this lens is really sharp. Now, this lens just performs admirably at the, you know, it's kind of like the 17. The glass on it is just tiny. But this lens does a fantastic job, super sharp, and really affordable. Now, if you know, if you have a camera that has some focus aids like focus peaking or a magnifier where you can zoom in and... and and adjust your focus and, and you like and especially if you like using manual lenses then this is a really affordable really high performing lens for the price i mean it's just kind of hard to imagine you can buy a lens like this for 59 dollars it um so if you want something really compact you don't mind, mind manually setting your aperture manually setting your focus then this is really one to consider i'll put this on a camera set it on aperture priority and so I can just set my aperture, it'll, camera will choose a shutter speed, and, um, you know, manual focus is not hard. And this, you know, it's, the focal length is short enough, you can use the depth of field scale, you can zone focus this very easily. So, if you're looking for a pancake lens and you really don't want to spend a lot of money on it, this is a great choice. Well, I hope you enjoyed the information about pancake lenses for micro four-thirds. If you uh, shoot micro four-thirds and don't have a pancake lens, it might be something you want to think about adding to your set. Well, thank you for joining me today. 
I uh, always appreciate it when you uh, watch my videos. If you have any thoughts or questions, please don't hesitate to leave me a comment. If you would, please do like and subscribe on the channel. And as always, thank you for watching.